Hey friends, welcome to my video. Thanks for clicking on my thumbnail. Glad you're here with I Like Team. Now today, friends, it is Friday. So you know what that means. It is another installment, another episode, if you will, of my Friday Favorites series. The series that I made where I break down some of my favorite things coming out or some of my favorite things that I just, just favorites all time in the realm of music. And we are going to go through them every Friday and check them out. But today, Alphas, how's it going? We are checking out XG Tape number one, the Chill Bill remix by Judine and Harvey. Now get this, right? This was already in my favorites playlist. If you don't know, I have a favorites playlist, okay? A playlist. So far, it's got 82 things in it. So 82 Fridays, we got, we got, we're set for 82 weeks for the, with this series, right? This has been in the playlist before Gal Cypher dropped, before XG Tape number two even was thought about dropping, I had this in the playlist. But as some of you may know who are new to the channel i checked this out was in love with it Li have listened to it for like a year straight now but i didn't check out the the second one until like a few weeks ago right before they came back with shooting star because i don't know it was just like everyone else had already been checking it out and i felt that pressure but you know i talked about that in the video i felt pressure to react to that and i just didn't and i knew it was going to be good i knew it was going to be good because i loved this one so much so i was like oh oh brother why did i not check that out when it dropped and then whatever we checked it out now and I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, two is probably better than one, but I already reacted to two, and now we're here with one, and I love one, so we're checking it out for Friday favorites. What's good, Alphas? I hope y'all are excited. We're gonna break this down, talk about everything we love about it, all sorts of stuff, and we finna catch these vibes together, so I need y'all to talk in the comments with me, because that's the most important part of this series, is us communicating about what we love about this, how much we like it, and all that stuff. Plus, I'm just an Alphas now, like, I'm a, I'm a pretty big Alphas too, so like, What's good, y'all? Anyways, before we get into it, I need y'all to make sure that you, for me, re-like. For y'all, like the official and original video on XG's official channel. Boy, that is satisfying. Exactly 100k. But, you know, it's my job to tell y'all to like the video, so let's make it unsatisfying. Go get it to 101,000 likes. Let's go. We can run it up for them. I believe in us. Now, with all that said and all that out the way, we finna dive into this now. This is XG tape number one. Chill Bill, Judin and Harvey. Bro, Judin and Harvey at a Let's just go. Three, two, one, click play. Now, because this is actually crazy. So, like, when this dropped, right, I was like, no, shut up. K pop group slash just girl group in general. It's been a rap over, like, this beat, like, this type of song. Like, what do you mean? Now, nah, that's that's just not what's happening. Of course, as we know, they've hence dropped uh, the cypher where they rapped over more beats that I would not expect them to be rapping over and they've killed it every time so to be honest i don't got no complaints keep keep doing it you know I, <laughs> keep it coming can't wait for for tape number three Jake, you i, I am in let's just leave it yeah i am It's like, <laughs> she be starting all of the songs, all of the raps, everything. Judine's iconic. We love her. Dilate. Oh, when I rhyme, make your eyes dilate. Nah, she got bars too. Like, don't sleep on the bars, bro. Nah, she out here. Got flames. Is this rime like, is, are the rhyme schemes insane? No. Is the flows just like blowing my mind? Definitely not. Am I still litter than I would be listening to 99% of rap out? Yes. Is that what matters? Yes. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Flame, 
purpose. Mom's got to eat and, and a girl, girl got to live. Yeah. Uh. Right for the like, is she rapping fast? No. Do I care? No. Why do I care? I don't care how fast you rap. I just want to, like, feel that you are killing it. You have to put me in the mood, and this definitely gets me going. Like, this is lit. Like, this is lit. And people realized how lit this was. Look at the views. People are woke to how lit this got them. <laughs> For purpose, mom's gotta eat, and, and a girl gotta, gotta live. Eat. Yeah. Uh. Right for the drive, I'm gonna die for the drive, cause a girl gotta leave. Yeah. Wait, I just realized, does this have, um, I don't think it did, yeah, okay, it doesn't. I was gonna say, does this have lyrics on it? Because then I'd feel bad because I don't have them on. I normally just, I get lit to this. I've heard it so many times, as you can tell, I kind of know some of the words. <laughs> Plus, you know, the whole trilingual thing XG be doing in their music. I don't know if this one's trilingual, but you know how they be doing it. So, like, it, it's, it's really hard for me to pay attention. <laughs> No, they cannot imitate. You're the goat. And you know, for those y'all that are also new here, maybe because there might be some of y'all that are new. Hi, how's it going? First of all, if you're enjoying the video, give me a like on the video. I'd appreciate it a lot. But also. Guess what? I've been a fan of XG since they're like, okay, I wasn't a stan until recently, but I've been a fan of XG since essentially their dance teasers started dropping. I was like, this group's kind of cool. But then when they dropped these tape, this tape one and the vocal one, like the vocals, they did peaches and they did this. And I was like, yeah, I'm sold, right? Like this was their pre-debut stuff. Plus they had all those group dances and all that. And I was like, this group's going to be big. I was a fan. Then they debuted with Tippy Toes and I wasn't the biggest fan of Tippy Toes. I I've told you that before. Tippy Toes is a good song. It's one of my favorite song. You can see my reaction to it on the channel. Um, but then I was like, okay, Mascara came out and I loved that song. I was like, I'm back on board. I'm a fan. I'm not a stan yet, but I'm a fan. And I recently became a stan after checking out Cal Cypher and Shooting Star and all that stuff, right? So I, I don't know. I, I just, it's just lit. It gets me going. I have a great time watching this stuff. And yeah, so basically I have been aware of this since it came out as someone who's really really big into this whole k-pop scene and like even though they're not necessarily k-pop um it's kind of like as you've as you've noticed a lot of k-pop stands are woke to them a lot of just music fans are now getting woke to them uh, a lot of girl group fans are just woke to them uh they're kind of j-pop kind of k-pop kind of just pop pop they're just a global girl group, right? And so I was aware of them when they debuted because a lot of K-pop fans were talking about them. Their videos were on my homepage because of algorithms and stuff. So I have known about this since it came out. And I've been getting lit to this Chill Bell remix since it came out. <laughs> Like, I was one of the first people that clicked on this video when it dropped. I still remember because I was, like, anticipating, ooh, this this group that I keep watching all their dance covers keeps dropping stuff, like, every day just about. And I'm like, when is something new going to come out from this group? Because it's fun to watch it. I didn't have my channel at the time. It was right before I made my channel. But it was like, this is fun to just watch this stuff as it's coming out, you know? <laughs> I watched this. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, the <laughs> Harvey, relax. And I didn't know who each person was at this time. Um, I heard her say G U R I N at the beginning, so like that must be Judy. But like in their dance videos, especially, they were like they were in hats real low. They were looking swaggy in their dance videos, so it was hard to like differentiate between all the people. Though Chisa was all was my favorite, everything about that, and Chisa's been my bias since I saw her dance video. But in this, I was like, oh, there's two people, and oh my God, they're both sick. <laughs> 
Ah, this is low key Harvey's best like rhyme scheme rap like rap rap it's still not blowing me away i feel like especially on cypher 2 you can really see like how good they all are but with this it was more so just vibes like i said i mean they're covering chill bill chill bill as a song is like it's just vibes you know <laughs> comes out it came out in that era where people were just listening to rap music for vibes in general not not like it, you know you get the point so uh, basically, this is sick. But also, as someone myself who, when I react to a lot of K-pop and stuff, I'm very, like, deep in the rap side of K-pop. I really pay attention to, like, rappers. I like to know who's the best and all that stuff. Even though, like, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. They're idol rappers. It's still fun to, like, know who's the best rapper in K-pop. And I, I really get hyped on rappers in K-pop. So, when I saw this, trust me, I was wowed. <laughs> I was like, I got them on my radar. <laughs> And they be cursing, so you know, you know, I, I fucks with it. Then it, ah, punchlines make you run it back, no, then it. That's CeeLo Green. <laughs> she got the references too. Again, we don't know if XG's writing their own lyrics. I mean, something tells me they're not, but something tells me they could be. We, we just don't know, right? And so I can't give them the full credibility for the bars as far as their brain is massive. But I can at least say they got bars in what they're saying, and I don't care because it sounds good. And she comes through singing, and it's that like that sound came through a lot. It almost sounded kind of like she like just slurred all her words together into one like it's just a mixture it's like it's very like mumbly and uh, but not like a mumble rap term in like a it's just kind of you know everything just sounds kind of the same but like in a cool way because she got swag with it <laughs> and like <laughs> I'm a get it, Hallelujah. I be doing. It's always funny to me that they almost hit their head when they get to the top of the steps here. Also, I love how they planned this out so well that they go up the entire thing, and when they get to the very top, the video's over. Like they, like bro. Get it, Hallelujah. Like bro, she almost hits her head on this. It's funny. Yeah. All right. Well, that's going to do it for my reaction to XG tape number one. Chill, Bill. Judine, Harvey, they both killed it. As you can tell, I've explained about all there was to explain about that. Why I loved it, what I thought about it when it came out, and everything, and why I'm just hype on it. And I'm still hype going forward. I, I've said this before. I think the number one thing that the extra girls need to be working on, yes, I want them to release more vocal covers. I want them to just make more music. I want them to come back. All that stuff. Obviously, they have a lot of hype behind their name now. They are becoming a really, really big sensation. But what I need from them is XG tape number three. They need another Cypher, Cypher version two. And not even tape number three. Like, it's gonna be called tape number three, but I need Gal Cypher two. They need to get on that. Capitalize on the trend while it is there. Everyone is listening to it. They need to make a third one because that, or technically a second one, but y'all get the point. They need to do that because I feel like I already love them musically. I love their singers. I love their dancing. I love their rapping. I love everything about them. But there's a lot of people that came in and were like, ooh, they're cool rappers. And then, bro, they didn't even check out Shooting Star, if you want me to be honest. And Left Right, they don't know that song exists. I done remixed Left Right, and they don't even know that Left Right's a song. 
Bro, you, you know what I mean? Like, they, they came in because they heard the rapping was good. They were like, yeah, that's pretty tight, and then left. Like, rap fans, I'm saying. You could get those rap fans to come back again if you make another one. I'm just saying. We're trying to make our girls blow up out here. Marketing and stuff. <laughs> But hey, with that being said, that's going to do it for me today. I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give me a like. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here now, friends. I hope you, yes, you, have a good day, morning, or night, whatever time it is for you. And wherever you are in the world, with that being said, peace. Stan XG, Stan Rapline, become alphas today. Goodbye. <laughs>